What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to another gig along. We got a big team today because we have a big ass package. We have my man Kevin here. We got Rosalyn and uh, Julio. He went to go park. He was parked back here in the loading dock, but um, I needed to get through. Today is massive. We have everything. Everything except up lights. We got clouds. We got CO2. We got sparks. We also have photo booth. Rosalyn will be manning photo booth. Kevin and Julio will be manning lights and helping me out with the DJ side of things. Loving my truck because everything fits. It's a pretty dope venue. Come inside and show you guys. We did a gig log here um, years ago. I think it was 2017, 2018. This is the venue right here. So you guys can see. It's very nice. This is the bride and groom right here. And uh, I actually went to uh, school with Greg. Pretty big dance floor, which is uh, not always a good thing. We'll be over here, and uh, we'll make it work. Let's do this. What you think? You been here before? No, I've never been here before. It's dope, right? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, they got a hedge wall. We got my man Julio, DJ exclusive. What up, bro? What up? You ready? Yes, sir. This is uh, Kevin. <laughs> That's Rosalind. What's the code? It's not too bad of a loaded, but we just got a lot of shit. All right, let's do this. Damn, this is a lot. So check this out. This is everything that we have. Damn, man, we got four towers, CO2 tanks, four of them, two in here, two in there. I haven't shown you guys this cases, but yeah, we got CO2 cases now. We got TVs back there. We got um, movers, two sets of two in there. We also have printers for photo booth, TV brackets, Nimbuses for the clouds. We also got sparks. Bro, I don't think you've done a package this big, right? Nope, first time. Yo, Kevin already knows the struggle, right, bro? You only pick me on <laughs> Yeah, bro, you only come on the difficult ones, right? rock and roll uh, it took us a little while to get the setup going because uh, it was a big setup but aside from that we are ready to go I'll give you guys a rundown of the setup in just a little bit maybe after ceremony but I do want to show you guys this really cool hedge wall thing uh, this is not ours this actually belongs to the actual venue itself it's actually drilled onto the wall I thought I can move it because I've been trying to turn this light on but it doesn't let me this is our photo booth you guys have seen it a million times we did get a new prop in with a couple of dope props this one has been very popular right here the whiskey bottle we also got these masks this XXX sign that's one popular as well over here we got the station this is kind of what it looks like and we got signs and all that good stuff there we're headed to ceremony look at what these guys got I mean, what the hell is this thing? Oh my god, this thing day. is like 20 ounces of Red Bull. I've been trying to cut so. back too on the Red Bull. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys know this too. We, we're going to a wedding tomorrow at like 6 a.m. No sleep tonight. So I guess I'm gonna need it. Work it, yeah. Ceremony. This is our ceremony right here. Got Julio. He's a ceremony man. We've just been using the Maui because it's easy and just a microphone and an iPad. I also do have a wired microphone just in case. That's pretty much it for ceremony. We're set up ready to rock and roll. I think they are running a little bit late. My eyes swollen. Yo, my eyes swollen here, right? Eh? Oh yeah, bro. Looks like I got beat up. Ugh. As far as this wedding goes, it is American. Obviously, the groom's American is a white wedding. And then the bride, she's Indian. But I didn't know that there were like Portuguese Indians. Cause when I first saw her name, I thought she was like, I don't know, I was gonna guess Filipino because it's her name is Melissa Gracias. And I was like, oh, that's in Spanish. She's probably Filipino, like my man Kev right here. She could have been, she could have been. <laughs> right? That sounds hella Filipino, right? So uh she's not, she's actually Indian. So apparently there's like this subset of like Indians that are Portuguese also so it's like Portuguese Indians that was new to me um, So today we're gonna be playing some Bollywood music. We're also gonna be playing some uh, EDM We're also gonna be playing some top 40s wedding hits. So As you guys can see here 
their Avengers theme song is their exit song. That's pretty cool. I like that. As far as introductions, these are the introductions. This is what I read off. And then as far as notes, what do I have? Do not play Ed Sheeran. Do not play Electric Slide. Do not do play Cotton Eye. That's so weird that she would have do play Cotton Eye Joe, but no Ed Sheeran, no Electric Slide. I also have a question on here that lets me know um, whether or not they like line dances. Oh yeah, right here, it says only if requested, and the only one that they requested was Cotton Eye Joe, which was kind of weird. What do you think about line dances, Kevin? Kevin's Filipino, so he's about to set y'all straight on line dances. I'm a little, I'm a little biased, so I got a little crazy. so if you want to get it going for Filipinos, they love September, they love Macarena, they'll, they'll do cha-cha slide, they don't care. They'll do chili cha-cha, toto toto, that's bar. He, he has Bro, I'm gonna have to send you out there with the microphone and be like, all right, to the left. To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. Nah, they're whack to you, right? Yeah. She's whack, right? Yeah. <laughs> Filipinos like a Zamba class when you're DJing for them, bro. It's like There's fucking Zumba. Zumba, right? right? Zumba. I don't really care or mind line dances. I only go to them if I absolutely have to. Like if I'm dying out there, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna play that shit. <laughs> but like if I'm rocking that crowd, and most of the time, don't mean to brag, but most of the times my weddings are usually pretty good. And um, I don't need to go to them, so it is what it is. I only go to them on extreme circumstances, and I always ask Brad and Groom, do you even want to hear that? That's just my two cents. I don't really care if you play them or not. It is what it is, but, um, you know, you do you. Do you. I don't got time for this. Do you, boo-boo. Do you, boo-boo. You know why? Because I'm a do me. Vested in me by the state of New Jersey and as deputy mayor of the township of Neptune, it is my honor and delight to declare you married and partners in life, in love, and in law. You may now kiss your bride to seal your vows. Ceremony just wrapped up. We're good to go there. That was uh, it was good. Nothing went wrong. Everything went fine. Everything went well. I always say that. This is uh, what the setup looks like right here. We have four towers. You can only see two. That's because there's two more right here and right here. So we got them on either side. There is uplighting in this room. However, we did not do that. The venue provides the uplighting. We have four. One, two, three, four of the Chauvin Sparks. These are the minis. These are not the full size ones, but they get the job done. We have the subwoofer. This is the 828. XRX JBL speaker and then we have the tops here these are the 815s SRX's as well JBL up top we have the ADJ focus spots and then we have the 60 inch TV is the 11th of September I didn't want to write September 11th because I thought <laughs> You can't. Yeah. You just can't. <laughs> Please don't cancel us. I mean, we're not trying to be funny. It, it really is that date. Over here, we got the CO2, CO2 tanks. We uh, we have two of them on this side, and you can see we got the nice flight case built for them. That's pretty dope. Over here, we got two more. Love this thing. And you can see that there's these links. I bought these links. These are Club Cannon links. You guys can see here, we're coming out of here into here this saves us time from having to you know unconnect and reconnect four times so literally we only have to do it uh once actually because i have two co2 guns so we can plug one in over here and one in over there back here we used it for a little bit of storage those are our cases for the tvs over here we got ice we got the lighting console which i've yet to make a video on it it's the apc 40 running my dmx 3.0 and then over here we have the serato ddj 1000 srt lastly we also have the big red button if i press this you can see a little bit of spark started shooting i just don't want to waste it but that is ready to go as well aside from that these guys are ready these guys are ready you ready bro over there Let's get it. bro don't turn them on just yet though no, no, we'll no, do no, it during dinner we're gonna go over intros kev is gonna be on lights 
pool there was gonna be on music and I'm gonna be on mic. My intros are a little bit complicated because the lights have to match the music and I have certain cues that I specifically want. There's strobe lights, there's search lights and uh, I'm very anal about how it all comes together. So uh, we're gonna go over them just to make sure. Cut the music clean. Cut, like literally, every time I say cut, it's just like, yeah. Alright, intros are done. We're good to go. We uh, went over them. Looks like the guys are ready. We, we got it pretty pretty quickly. Um, they switched the color on us multiple times. The first one I got here was white, then they switched it to blue, and now they switched it to red. So uh, we switched it to red too. This is the final look of the setup. Looking good. Look at that halo created by the spark dust. It <laughs> looks so dope. How you guys feeling? You guys ready? Yes, sir. It's gonna be a good night. Ooh, yes, sure. I got a ready? feeling, right? <laughs> it's finally lit. All you need is love. That's pretty dope. Brides and grooms have been asking me about getting a flower wall or a hedge wall, but man, it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> this one's drilled, so more venues need to just drill them in. It's officially almost showtime. We are getting ready. We're splitting the ice right now. Each one is going to get uh, 12 pounds. So right now we're going to put them in a bag and then we're going to dump them inside the Nimbus. I'm going to go line up the bridal party and then we're going to do this. Wish me luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to the beautiful Southgate Manor for our celebration this evening. Tonight, of course, in celebration of the Hey Greg, everybody please make some noise for your brother group tonight. This is the moment that we have all been waiting for. The reason we are all gathered here tonight. What I need everybody to do right now is I need everybody to count their rise from your seats. And I need you to do me one more favor. I need you to reach over at your table and I need you to grab your napkin. And as our really ones make your way in, I need you to wave that napkin up high. Friends and family, I need everybody to scream. I need song to share together. So I need you right now to grab your cameras, get your cell phones ready, because you're about to witness history here tonight. They've chosen a wonderful song. It's entitled The One. Take it with me. Hey! I'm gonna do 
Alright, Vincent family, the wonderful staff here at the South Gate are coming around with your entrees at this time. So we invite you to sit back and relax and enjoy. I spoke to Melissa and Greg before the wedding and they told me that tonight they only wanted one thing. They told me that at some point in the evening, they wanted nothing more than to see everybody joining them here tonight, out here on the dance floor. And we're gonna make that come true, so here's what's gonna happen. When the DJ starts playing the music, I need everybody to join our bride and groom out here on the dance floor. So DJ, drop the music. Everybody bring it on now. It's officially round three, let's party. another gig log officially in the books this was such a fun wedding such an awesome time we had a blast it was a little bit stressful not gonna lie definitely gotta have the right team to pull off an event such as this so big shout out to my team shout out to the homie exclusive my man Kevin and Rosalind also by the way I want to give a huge shout out to Kevin he also has a YouTube channel he's been making gig logs he's just starting off on his DJ career so if you guys are a beginner DJ and you want to see somebody coming up then check out my man Kevin I'm gonna link him up in the card above and down in the description of this video overall super awesome gig we did have a slower end of the night and that's because they did have a cigar station and a sparkler send off so uh, yeah there's no competing that as soon as you announce things like that uh, parties over so at the end of the night we didn't have as many people as we did earlier at the start of the night but it was awesome it was epic it was a great night all around gotta send a huge shout out to our sponsor BPM Supreme, use the promo code BAR25 to save 25% on the world's greatest music pool. BPM Supreme and BPM Latino. If you're looking for Spanish music, check out BPM Latino. English, American music, top 40 house, hip hop, all that other good stuff, check out BPM Supreme and use promo code BAR25 to save 25%. That's a great deal. The secret trick, you have to sign up, cancel, and then re-sign up again every single month. That way you get that 25% off every month. So uh, that's a little pro tip for you guys. 
Bros, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please help me out by smashing that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here, and we're gonna turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another gig log. I got a lot of gig logs coming your way because I am now in the slow season. We're gonna be doing two to three videos a week as opposed to the one video a month that I've been doing lately, so get excited. Smash that like button if you're excited that the vlogs are back. All right, bro, signing off, DJ Bar, stay awesome. Bye. Oh,